property liability insurance and workers' compensation insurance. This is on there simply um, because we said we were going to keep this on the agenda. Uh, probably should have been, it should have been under old business, whatever. But just any sort of an update from Fred on this. Uh, we did meet with the provider, the low bidder. Um, I think the recommendation is going to be to take the low bidder, which is $104,000 less than we're currently paying. Uh, and that's the former municipal association. Uh, there are some things with the other coverage from Primex that we're concerned about. Um, essentially, they do not cover mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the things in the legal department, which means we'd be either out trying to buy that insurance, which is hard to get to begin with, uh -huh. um, or we would have to do without it, which is not recommended. Right. We need to protect the town, and, and uh, we need to protect the attorney that works for the town. So. Yeah. It's important that we try to keep that w within due bounds so that we don't have a lot of un un unanticipated expenses. Um, we are required to indemnify the council, both of them, under uh, RSA uh, 31, yeah. 103, 104, 105 uh, for their liability, and that insurance is not there for part of that liability coverage. And we're afraid we would not be able to get it for a reasonable cost. So the recommendation will be next week that we approve this uh, for the Municipal Association of savings of $104,000 plus. Which one was it, Mr. Chairman, that we looked like we were paid until June on? Is which That's the Municipal Association. Pro that's the one I covered property earlier, liability. property liability. Yeah. It's, it's property well, damage and liability. Right. Did we have we actually paid that? To I said that earlier. Yes, right? he, yes. he did it. He hit with us. Yeah, I paid. think it was before yeah. he came I'm in. Too, I'm, yeah. too, I'm too busy taking a nap. I'm sorry, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just in a good mood. But, that's all. But, <laughs> but, but, not the Municipal Association. It's the, the new uh, LLC or whatever they're calling yeah, themselves. The, well, the, the property it's liability trust. It's a new thing that's still hanging over the edge of the cliff mm. uh, financially. Um, what guarantee have we that workers' comp claims won't be just kicked out arbitrarily? I'm, I'm more worried about that than I am about the liability. Haven't we had a couple just kicked out or thrown out the door or well, whatever? Uh, workers' compensation claims, as a general rule, are uh, a lot of them are thrown out the door simply because the, the facts don't support the case until... Well, I'm not... You know, they have to they have to submit facts and information that supports the case. No, well, I would appreciate that. And and if they don't, then of course they're going to challenge them. So, right. uh, and I don't care which which carrier that is. I, I've had both. They both do the same thing. So that's well, the I was issue. just a little concerned when you had mentioned that uh, whether this is a current or uh, practice that they've started adopting, so they can. Uh, as far as we know, no. All right. As far as we know, no. Uh, they're no they're only no. rejecting those that that have the taste of. They're not complete, or we can't identify uh, whether or not they're I, legit. Otherwise, yeah. Which forces everybody to sit down and, and go back through the process and say, okay, yeah. what really happened? Let's yeah. document this and find out for sure. Yeah, well, I would expect it. And that's, huh? I think that's good insurance protection for us. Okay. Um, what is... Okay. Um, so you'll have that on your next agenda. Fred, you're, you're sir. going to see Christina and take care of that being on the agenda? Yes, sir, I will. Okay. Yep. Yeah, in, in the end? The, 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 uh, town manager question on it. You sent out that bid package. Yes. How many firms did you send that out to? Um, we had that sheet, I thought, last week. Recollection was it was more than a dozen. More than, and how many responses? Two. 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 Primary. How many complete uh, responses with complete insurance coverage that our current vendor provides to us? One. If any. One. There was one. Just Primex. One. Primex did not being that one. They did. That's correct. They did not provide all the coverage that we did requested. Did we have any complete bid for our current coverages? Just the uh, property liability trust workers. So our current vendor. Yeah. It was the only one that provided everything. Provided yeah. that. We have no 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 firm out there of the dozen that you sent it out to that provided uh, a complete coverage. Yeah. Primex was the only response. Is yes. that correct? Yeah. Other, other than the, the PLT, yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. And the, the 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 Primex in absence of our current vendor with an incomplete bid requirement for coverages. Yeah. For no E and O. Legal, uh, is $104,000 more. Mm -hmm. When I say $104,000, that's what's on the table from this year's budget. Okay. It was $63,000 more than the, I believe it was 63000 more than the current vendor. So, 
they were higher by sixty-three thousand dollars over the current pandemic. Yep, sixty-four thousand. Yeah, yeah. We're saying here. With, okay. without a complete mm -hmm. comparison, they weren't yeah. covering yeah. everything yeah. we asked for. Yeah. Correct. Thank you very much. Okay, question. It, it will be on next week's agenda. We've been provided um, quite a bit of information over the past two and three, four yeah. weeks. Is there any additional information which any of the selectmen would like to see Fred have available f by Friday so that you feel you have the, the necessary information to make a decision next Monday? On. Hmm? On. On the coverage. BLT and coverage. On the award. Award. I don't think we have a heck of a lot of options, quite frankly. Right. And where, well, well, if you do think of something during the week you want, yeah. just email me. I'm I guess sure um, um, this is kind of a speak now or, yeah. or, or speak up by email during the <laughs> right. week, as well, opposed to next Monday, you know, saying that, yeah. geez, we didn't have this yeah, information. By the first of January, we just definitely have to pick one or the other, get off the pot, right? I, oh. I think what we're saying is we're going to do that next yeah. week, Mike. Right. Okay. You need a couple of weeks to get it yes. consummated. Okay, next line item. I, I think we pretty much covered that We're when we when, that, when yeah. we went over um, warrant articles. Oh, yes. Basically, to go over with you the strategy of having two separate warrant articles, one for the Gristmill we Dam, one for the culvert, that. et cetera. Mm -hmm. There's a public hearing on this next week. Keith will be here. Yep. Um, this was just to make, basically make sure you understood what the strategy was yep. and agreed with that um, yep. before next week. Um, policy related to a second here. Um, related to approval of wage and other unbudgeted expenditures impacting default budgets and commitments in future years. Um, this is something that, that I put together um, for the purpose of addressing the, the issue at a policy level of unbudgeted expenses that are incurred during a given year and roll into the following year's right. default budget to address the transparency issues. I sent this out on Friday. It was included um, with the information you got on Friday. It's not particularly lengthy. I think it's three sentences or whatever. Um, having said that, Mark um, produced a version, what, today, Mark, or whatever? Right. Friday, Friday or whatever Friday. that you were copied on that quite frankly didn't I I'm absolutely happy with the changes he made it didn't change the substance um, of anything that I had um, put together if you wish to defer it till next week that's not a problem what is the pleasure of the board I, I, have I think we can just talk about it. I have a quick comment on this. do we want to get into it this my question is do we want to get into it this week or defer it it's, well. it's, a, it's a light agenda notwithstanding Prior comments, I'm happy to tackle. Okay. I'd like to read it first okay. so, so that yep. the public knows. And what I'm going with is Mark's version simply because he, mm -hmm. you know, I, I thought he improved upon what I had put together and didn't make any substantive um, changes. That was better. Um, to, assure public, to assure public transparency, <laughs> any non budgeted expenditures, including non budgeted employee wage increases and other contractual commitments that carry forward to future years impacting the default budget shall be brought to the Board of Selectmen by the Town Manager for review and approval in a public meeting prior to consummation. If they come to his attention, the Town Manager will alert the Board of Selectmen to commitments that fall into this category, but fall under the authority of another appointed or elected body or official in order to provide the Selectmen and the public with advanced notification as the Selectmen will be asked to incorporate the associated spending increases into the default budget. My objectives in this are one, provides transparency both to the selectmen and the general public. It forces the, the, the issues to be out there. Second, in addition, it assures that the authority to approve over budget, budget expenditures, which will result in tax increases the following year, lies with the Board of Selectmen in those areas that fall under us. Finally, for expenditures falling under the authority of other elected bodies and officials, it assures that the selectmen and the general public aware that increases could be reflected in the default budget that have not been approved by a vote town meeting. So, that's it. After thinking about this, I have concerns that something like this is popping up this late in the year, and our comment to Mr. Diener and the Conservation Commission when they the commission itself uh, voted to grant a pay increase to an employee and was uh, basically told 
that they should plan for these things and incorporate them in the planning for their budget, I think the same thing applies to the Board of Selectmen. And if we anticipate, and it is logical to anticipate, that non-contract individuals be granted increases, I think that should have been planned for the 2013 budget, and I think we should have included that planning or an approximation for the 2014 budget. Now what are we going to do? Go to the Budget Committee for 2014 and say, hey, we think in this year we'll need approximately ballpark figure $20,000 for non-contract wage increases. You also can have a potential problem when you ha are negotiating collective bargaining agreements because traditionally the collective bargaining agreements have been completed and then the non-contract raises were an outcome of the collective bargaining process. So it, we need the need to take the bull by the horns and not hang our hats on the collective bargaining process for the non-contract personnel and go ahead and budget for the coming year, not be hit with something in the fall for the current year. I'm not very happy with that. And we did that so this year. For 2014. So that 1766. For 2014, okay. Then why are we complaining about it and screwing up the default budget? What do you mean, why are we? I thought you said that where, that this was not included. This, any item. Is this? Well, Th this is purely a transparency I issue. I, I agree with what you said of, of wherever possible things should be planned or whatever. All this does is assure I that when it's not the case that it becomes transparent. I agree with you, but it, we shouldn't have be put in situations where it's not the case. And the Budget Committee right now is struggling with the feeling that the 17,666 has not been incorporated into this year's budget. What is this year? 2013. And therefore, what, what the extension of those figures it's is not adequately calculated in 2014. Ab absolutely. If you recall, at the start of this meeting when well, we sorry. talked about operating, yes. I brought up the fact that there was $3,048 right. $3, that right. we approved over and above the 14616 right. or whatever it was that was in the budget. Fred requested that that be put in the default budget. We agreed to that, and I pointed out at the start of this meeting that that, that default budget should be um, revised. Revised by that amount. Well, if we're revising it, then it wasn't in the default budget. Because we made a decision to go with a 1% as opposed to I a 0.85. I understand that, but what I'm trying to say is that this should have been worked out in the context of the 2013 budget okay. right. for whatever perceived uh, raises uh, were on tap for non-contractual personnel. I agree. But, but, the, the, but the point is, what we I, I agree with what By you said. By extension, we should have done that right out of the gate. Right, and what we did is we did the do that in 2014. Okay. We recognized that. I asked Mike Spolzer to go ahead and calculate it based on one and a quarter percent. I asked him to when? ask. When? When? Back, the in the, back, in the, back in September, October. All right, okay. It's so in the there. budget committee 000. has the figures factored right. in. I just right. want to clarify. Right. I want to make but, sure but I understand. But what I am doing here, okay, as I agree That's with you, it's a different issue, is, is that good. when that type yes. of thing is done, like, for example, the Board of Selectmen making a decision, yeah. increase that by $3,000, yeah. yes. that that be done in public, which it was Absolutely. done yeah. last yes. week. Right. So that's what this assures, okay? Right. What I can tell you is, and, and is, is what has often gone on in the past, mm -hmm. and you know what you know, you don't know what you don't know, right. or whatever, is these kind of things took place in some circumstances. I've turned over some of them as a function of analysis I've done yeah. in conjunction with CBAs. Right. These things are done, raises have been given, selectmen have not been aware of it, right. it was not announced in conjunction with the budget, Correct. it was brought into the default budget. You right. can't see a, a, a three or a five thousand dollar raise in a six hundred thousand dollar line item, right. okay? Whatever. What this does is sets a policy mm -hmm. that assures these type of things, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example, it's not just races or whatever. We made a judgment this past May or June to take the 
assistant, if you will, MIS position Correct. from a part-time to a full-time full position. Mm -hmm. we, we made that judgment. It was not something that we had planned for going at the year, but based on the circumstances that we were facing in May and June, right. we made that judgment. Right. The consequence of that judgment is that we increased um, roughly by about 25% by going from 32 to 40 hours or whatever. Yeah. We increased the expense associated with that position from a wage standpoint. Yeah. We also increased the expenses associated with that individual having health insurance, right. okay, call it $18,000 or something along those mm -hmm. kind of lines, okay. One thing I'm not sure, and I'm saying I'm not sure, I'm not saying we didn't, but I'm not sure that we made it a point to make the public aware. We made that decision in non-public for valid reasons yeah. associated with, with, with some yeah. circumstances that shouldn't have been aired in public. I'm not sure we came mm -hmm. before the public and said, yes. This That's is what we're point. doing, and, yeah. and what this policy does, yeah. not only for things that fall under our responsibility, but for things with other elected yes. bodies and officials, because it's going to impact the default budget, and we have to yeah. approve that, is assured that it becomes transparent. Yeah. I believe that when these things are, are by policy all transparent, Yes. Okay, and out there, I think we'll make wiser decisions. Absolutely. So. And it's a good policy. I just wanted to clarify good. because there's some issue, and you might, you want to be aware of that tomorrow night when you go in with the Budget Committee and they're doing their review and so forth to clarify for them. Because well, that's the, been a little... The thing that annoys me, and I think that the legislative body should be able to vote on everything. That's a given. But like in the case of uh, the IT personnel, that was an unforeseen unforeseeable mm -hmm. probably yeah that that was going to occur so you're going to have those events take place but when it comes to a couple other events that have taken place this last year those were all foreseeable there was no excuse for those in my opinion looking at the legislative body approving the money okay point of view so i think what this does at least it'll try to bring it to our attention mm -hmm. and if we think it's wrong mm -hmm. which i do in some cases we can sputter mm -hmm. and spew about it accordingly. Do you, will you accept a motion to approve? Is that what you need? Yep. May, I, may I just have one comment, please? Oh. I will second the motion. Okay. Uh, I just, um, uh, in red, uh, if they come to his attention, and it sounds from the comments that we want a more forceful uh, execution of this, this concept, uh, you know, Fred is the chief executive. Uh, it goes out... Uh, perhaps from the chair and Fred, uh, you to the other elected board uh, chairman and to Fred, that these matters will come to either Fred or you. And that goes along with the, the full emphasis on transparency. And this, this if they come to his attention, to me, uh, dilutes your whole effort. And I think it should just, uh, that should not be part of it if this is the way you want to go. Quite frankly, that wasn't something I had in there initially, that was something that Mark yeah. had with the understanding that there there is there this is a human enterprise, well, and there are there are things yeah. that are unknowable. But I, I think that hearing your comment and, and going, this just takes it if they come, just yeah, sets it up for failure. And I, I would agree uh, too. I would well, are you that. suggesting that be removed? Then yes, sir. Or? Yes. Okay. Remove that. Uh, where is the uh, where is that? Guy? I'm trying to get the right one here. Okay. Okay. So Phil has essentially um, proposed an amendment. If they come to his attention, be deleted. I'll second your amendment. In other words, okay. leave it the way it was to begin with, Mark, oh, on that line. Just that one line. Okay. Yep. All in favor of the amendment? Unanimous. Okay. Main motion as amended. All in favor of the main motion? Okay. Good. Sounds good. That's what's uh, Yeah. Okay. Because if... if Somebody gives a raise, for example, in the middle of the year. Somebody still has to sign a check, so they're going to come to our attention sooner or later. Pa in the pay higher payroll is not. I mean, that has to come right. through Mike Swotzer. Yeah. Um, and I, 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 to be honest with you, I, I didn't object to that because I, I was hard pressed to envision a situation where another elected official um, or body went out and made a contractual commitment without you know, involving the town manager, the town attorney, and, and, and so on. And financial officer, yeah. But yeah. Okay. Um, next item, health trust annual meeting. Um, basically, there are um, 